Why is motion tracking your camera so important? When you're shooting with Unreal Engine, you'll be forever trapped to locked off shots unless you're able to find a way to motion track your camera. This is because if you're shooting with traditional mixed reality, Unreal needs to know how to generate the background meant to be behind your subject. If your camera isn't motion tracked, the background will be frozen unless you animate the scene by hand which is of course not fun at all. This is fixed fairly easy. With the VR set, you can strap a handset onto your camera and get the real-time tracking data from the engine to reference. The problems arise when you don't have a VR set. If you've been utilizing the methods I've been highlighting so far in my Virtual Production 101 series, you're kind of doing the reverse of traditional mixed reality. Instead of pulling the engine onto your backdrop, you're placing your subject into the engine. When you do this, your subject becomes a 2D plane. If you try to animate a camera around a 2D plane, you appear flat and the entire illusion breaks. If you try to animate the rotation of the plane to match the camera, it looks like you're on a rotating pedestal, which is usually not the look people go for. The solution for the technique I've been using is to capture real life camera movement with matching footage. You have to import the camera movement to Unreal and mirror that movement onto your plane which contains the real footage that was shot. If you don't mirror that animation onto the plane, your camera will move too far around the plane and that plane will no longer be seen by the virtual camera. Even if you do all this correctly, you'll run into an issue where your footage will be far too animated in the engine. This is because your camera movement is technically being duplicated by the way that the footage itself is moving inside of the plane. To solve this, you have to stabilize the footage. I've just stopped all motion with warp stabilizer and After Effects. With all these steps, it seems as though doing all of this work to get everything in the engine would no longer be viable. Though it is possible for specific cases, there's a better option for most cases. The best way I've found to do this is by motion tracking your camera into your scene, like in traditional HTC Vive Mixed Reality, and then applying that shot to your original shot in After Effects. The tutorial by FX Home explains the whole process using CamTrack AR and Blender, which are both free softwares. For this demonstration video, I used Maya in After Effects to get all of my data into Unreal. So if you want to replicate what I did, check out the tutorial by JS Films, who explains the process of getting camera data from After Effects to Unreal. The only negative thing I've found with the process of compositing out of Unreal is that you can't make use of dynamic lighting in Unreal for your subject. Thank you again for watching and let me know if you've found any other solutions. I recently found some really cool AI software that generates mocap data from just plain 2D video. So check back next week to see how the testing for that goes and thanks again for watching.